Alright guys, this is uh, one of the most graphic videos I've put up in a while. Um, so if you have a weak stomach, I would not recommend watching this at all. Um, it's I'm basically doing a how-to video on how to um, bleach and clean a squirrel skull. So I would look away now if you have a weak stomach. Okay, so those of you have, who have stayed, this is my squirrel skull. Sorry, it's kind of, my phone's being stupid, but that's the squirrel skull. Notice there's no bullet holes or anything. This one got caught in a snare, so it basically choked it, um, and that's what you want. You don't want any bullet holes in the skull, because it doesn't come out very good. Plus, it cracks the skull, so when you boil it, you, uh, you don't get a nice skull. Um, also, in a squirrel skull, the bottom teeth right there. Look like that. It's the bottom tooth. Um, these come apart. But they're just um, stuck together by a little piece of um, tissue or something. So they come apart and they'll kind of break in the hot water. So what you got to do is you got to kind of cut between the teeth. There, as you can see. And, um, and then you got to separate it carefully from the skull. Hold on one second, let me wipe my uh, camera here. Alright, yeah, that's a little bit better. Alright, um, so what you got to do is you got to try and take all the meat off um, before you boil it. Um, but you don't really boil it, actually. You, uh, you simmer it, I guess. <sighs> Use an old pot that you don't need um, to do that. Alright, now, what I did is when I cleaned it, I used a little pocket knife that I used to clean squirrels and chipmunks and crap like that. Alright, um, and this I don't care if I have to throw it away or what. Always, if you can, wear some plastic gloves. They, and if you can, double them up, because the brain is what carries some of the rabies and crap like that, and it's just not fun to, yeah, you get the point. So, to clean it off, um, I found a couple of, well, I have a whole box. Are you doing this self? Yeah, I'm making a video, Bray. But, um, dentist tools, like the picks, you know. Are you putting it on YouTube? Yep. Like, any kind of pick or anything to, like, get inside the eye sockets or in the brain and kind of, like, clean out the underneath there. Um, those work really good. If you don't use an old pair of tweezers or something, these are just dentist tweezers, too, that I found. Um, and that's, um works really good to clean it. So as you can see, it's pretty well all the meat's off of it. Um, the brains are out of it. To get the brains out, what you gotta do is you gotta stick one of the dentist tools, preferably one that has like a little hook on it. You can see there's a little hook on the end of that one. Just just a little, little hook. What you gotta do is you gotta stick it in inside this hole here and kinda kind of just smash all the brains and guts and everything that's inside there. And then you can either put a bucket of water like I had, and you can just kind of pick, put the pick in the hole there and kind of pick the brains out and, I don't know, wash them out. It's, that's what I did and it came out rip, wicked clean. So after you get to this point, you uh, boil it. Not boil, but just bring the water to like a simmer. And you let that sit for probably, with this skull, probably 30 minutes because it's so small. If the if the nose starts to split, then that's time to take it out and you have to let it cool. And then you'll have to uh, read, you'll have to take more skin off so it doesn't have to sit in as long. Because that means it's been on in for too long. And when that starts to crack, then your skull's no good. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. This is going to be like probably a six-part video, but I'm going to try and boil this today. Um, but yeah, basically all you need is a box of rubber gloves, um, a nice skull that's not cracked or broken or shot into, um, a knife to skin it and, you know, cut all the excess meat off and whatever, a couple of dentist tools, pair of tweezers, and uh, a pot and some water and a, something to boil it with. So yeah, that's it. Oh, and then when you um, 
when you take the teeth apart, um, there will be a flat side that's not yellow. You can see it right there. I don't know why my camera's being crappy today, but it is. Um, so you just glue those two halves together. All right, thanks, guys.